allegations of financial impropriety, unremitted funds, tax evasion, thousands of firearms and ammunition said to be missing under the watch of the police. These and more have been brought to light by one potent tool. Its applications are far-reaching in ensuring transparency and accountability in governance. If you want full details about the state's revenues and expenditure, you need a financial statement. But if you want to know if those funds were judiciously used, then what you need is an auditor's report. While the Auditor General's report, which is a public document, may have uncovered infractions by MDAs at the federal level, how well do states open their books for public scrutiny? A recent report by civic organization Paradigm Leadership Support Initiative, PLSI, ranked Bainui, Lagos, and Zamfara states as the lowest three in its sub-national audit efficacy index based on the following audit practices. How accessible their full audit reports are to the general public, how up-to-date and accessible the audit legal framework is, the effectiveness of the State Assembly in reviewing the report and correcting anomalies, and citizen engagement, among others. And so we set out to verify some of these findings. We begin in Lagos, which is ranked 35th according to the index. We sought to find out how easy it is to access the audit report and legal framework. For the legal framework, which has been amended and signed by Governor Babajide Sonwulu in 2021, we visit the State Library, but no luck. Next was the State High Court Law Library, where we found an older version, the 2011 Audit Law. The most recent law we got was the 2015 law at the Gazette office. The office promised to reach out when the latest law is available. For the 2020 audit report itself, we head over to the Auditor General's office, since we couldn't find it on their website. Without public access, it is difficult to know exactly how much is generated by Lagos State agencies. The Auditor General presents us with the report and responds to the queries. The no need to be there to ensure that the Supreme Audit Institutions post these things, the audit uh, reports, online. Then to the State Assembly, where laws guiding audit are made. The House is on recess, but we're able to speak with the Chairman of the Public Accounts Committee. For all these things, it's supposed to go through the internet, but I want to assure you, go to all the ministries, uh, parastatus, MDO, you will see the report there. He insists Everybody the latest laws are available, contrary to what we found at the State's Gazette office. In as much the law has been, as, has been asked by the governor, it has become a public document. The PLSI says it reached out to all the states of the Federation to carry out this report, but the case of Zamfara is quite peculiar. Last year's telecom shutdown in the state is said to have hampered efforts to reach the Auditor General, who insists that the 2020 report is publicly accessible. To say that our report is not being accessed by the public is not true. For anyone that wants CDC our report, here is our web address, www auditorgeneral.zm.gov.ng We visit the website, and what we find is the 2019 audit report. For Benue State, which was ranked last, the Commissioner for Finance, the DG Planning Commission, the Auditor General, and the SSG declined comment. PLSI recommends, amongst other things, that states without an open governance structure should adopt one to foster civic involvement in governance. When a road is constructed in your, in your community and then it breaks down three months after, I think we should blame the auditor. In the audit report, you have notes, you have report of the auditors against the spending. And whether those spendings, are, like I said, have complied with relevant provisions of the law and who has flouted what and whether funds have not been accounted for and what institution needs to do what in recovering funds from those that have not accounted for funds. Well, so much attention is focused on the federal government, and rightly so. But then there is a lot happening at the sub-nationals, just the states, and even the local government levels. If only we could engage more. We're from the Lagos State House of Assembly here in Alausa, Ikeja, Lagos, Kayode Okikulu.
for Channel's television news.